All right, here we go. How to Reinhardt. Big man, big hammer, hammer go bonk. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Reinhardt is a tank. So he's pretty beefy, has a big shield, a range ability to build his ult charge, and a charge to initiate team fights. So he's gotta be pretty easy to play, right? Wrong. Because while Jeff Kaplan loves healers, he absolutely hates tanks. And before you say he doesn't and that tanks control the meta, hear me out. Remember Roadhog? He had this whole amazing combo going where he could one-shot any squishy in the game. Whenever you heard that Roadhog say, Come here. You knew it was over. Lights out. Now when you hear that, it goes more like this. Bye, have a great time! And I mean, let's face it, the only reason the current tank meta is a thing is because of Sigma. And that's going down the drain too. While Reinhardt has remained rather consistent throughout the years, there's one massive flaw with this massive German. And it's that he's boring. Just think about it, most of the time, you're on barrier duty. And sure, you can launch a fire strike every once in a while, but you just know that any self-respecting diva will just catch it with her defense matrix. Even the fake e-girls who've only been playing for a week know how to do that. And then you'll say, what about his charge? And I'll say, let's talk about his charge, but first, let's talk about his passive. Now, Overwatch has been known to release some pretty broken passives. So who would have guessed when they made Reinhardt's passive that it would be completely useless? Essentially, what Reinhardt's passive does is it lowers the effectiveness of knockup abilities. Except it doesn't, because I guarantee you that every time you charge, something will stop you. Whether it be a Junkrat Mine, a Lucio Boop, a Stun Grenade, a Mei Wall, a Farah Knockback, an Arista Ball, a Roadhog Hook, a Brigida Bash, and last but not least, another Reinhardt charge. I can't think of any other ability that gets countered by so many things. You know what else is affected the same way? His ultimate. All you have to do to stop Reinhardt's ult is just offset him a little bit and then all of a sudden his ult's gone. So all his teamfight potential is out the drain the moment he gets knocked away from his ult. But if you still think Reinhardt is worth playing, here's what you need to do. First is the barrier. You keep that barrier up as long as possible and you don't let that barrier down for anyone. But of course, that barrier will eventually break. Which is great news for you because now you can launch a fire strike. And then just go ahead and charge straight into that enemy backline and start swinging. It'll probably look something like this. Cheers, love! Mada Mada! You're taking this very seriously. So, yeah, Reinhardt's an okay tank. I mean, he's no Sigma or Roadhog, but I mean, at the very least, he's not Winston. Oh, Shaft. <laughs> oh. And don't worry, aiming is not a problem. Because, I mean, think about it who really needs to aim in this game? Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around to the end, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to see more from me. Or if you want, you can check out my other how-tos and make sure to comment what hero you want to see next. So with all that said, uh, thank you and I'll see you next time.